It's finally the end of 2022, which means it's time to make some predictions for 2023. So in this video, I want to share with you some of my predictions for the top developer trends that we will see throughout 2023. First up is artificial intelligence and machine learning. We've seen some amazing progress over the last year with things like DALI and ChatGPT, and I think this is going to continue into 2023. Now, don't worry, I don't think we're at that point where AI starts replacing all of our jobs. I think we're actually pretty far away from that, but I would look for AI to continue improving over the next year. Particularly, I would look at its ability to do creative things. We've always thought that computers and AI aren't going to be as good at creative things because computers don't have emotions like humans do. But OpenAI seems to be sort of proving us wrong in that regard. They made Dali, which is able to generate images that look like a human could have generated them. And then they have ChatGPT, which can have conversations in a human way. It can write stories and songs and even write code, all of which it does in a way that feels very human. So I think over the next year, we will see even more advancements in the sort of creative artificial intelligence. Next up is privacy and security. Consumers are getting more and more concerned about how their data is being used by these big tech companies. And I think as a result, these big tech companies are going to be forced to be more transparent about how they're using data and to add more features to protect that data. So this is going to be privacy features that consumers can use to control how their data is being used as well as extra security measures to make sure that these tech companies aren't being hacked and that there's no data leaks. I also think we might see more companies come out that are going to be essentially versions of existing software, but with more emphasis on privacy and security. Next up is going to be blockchain. And now before you smash the dislike button, I'm not here to give financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy cryptocurrencies. This is strictly about the technology behind crypto being the blockchain which has been rapidly improving over the last few years, and I think this will continue. Moreover, the collapse of FTX, while it seems like a negative for the space, I think long-term can be a positive because it's likely to lead to some regulation, and regulation can lead to mainstream adoption. Mobile-first design has been a big trend in tech for a long time, and I think it's going to continue being a trend. The idea is very simple, most people now browse the internet using their phones rather than computers, so as a result, most of the time our primary use case should be the phone and we should build for phones using computers as a secondary use case. So build for phones first and then sort of convert that to work on computers instead of the other way around. Additionally, I think we're actually going to see just a bigger push towards considering UX design to be an important step in the workflow. The reason I say this is that we're getting more and more competition each year in every single niche on the internet. And as a result of this, that means that we have to build better websites. And I think this starts with better UX design. So I think we're going to see more emphasis on UX design over the next year or even the next few years. WebAssembly is a binary format that we can use to write web applications. So applications that run in the browser at nearly native speeds using C, C++ and Rust. And I think this is going to be getting much more popular over the next year or coming years. In the past, we've always had to download any major applications that we use. And this means that those applications need to be built for lots of different types of devices. Additionally, they can only work when you are at that one device you have it downloaded at. So it's much better if we can just have web applications that don't need to be downloaded and they can work on any device. The one caveat though, is that in the past, using just JavaScript in the browser hasn't been efficient enough for a lot of applications to work. But using WebAssembly, I actually think we're going to get to the point where lots of applications can just run in the browser and you don't need to worry about downloading anything, which is going to be great. This is also going to lead to Rust getting even more popular. So Rust is a very popular programming language that in many ways is doing these same things as C++ has done as being this ultra efficiency based language, but it's much easier to use and much easier to learn, at least in my opinion. And I think because of this, we're going to see Rust take away a lot of the market share of C++. That's not to say C++ is going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere for a long, long time, but I think we will see Rust get much more popular over the next year. The technology behind augmented reality and virtual reality has gotten absolutely incredible over the last few years, but it still hasn't really caught on with mainstream adoption. I think part of the reason behind this is because there's just not much to do with it. So a big trend this year 
could become building applications for AR and VR. This could potentially mean that the metaverse becomes a trend. Although to be honest, I haven't been super bullish on the metaverse as a concept. And if you're curious to see why exactly that is, check out this video next.